Alright, so this is about uh, a Bigfoot documentary, basically, or a documentation of footage that says that the actual beast exists. And uh, at first I came to this video thinking, hey, this might be legit, this might be realistic. Uh, upon the conclusion, this is a bunch of fucking horse crap. This isn't even real. Uh, while watching the video, you're going to see a guy dressed in a fucking costume, and... Uh, the, the cameraman's gonna walk up to him, and when he's all alone in the forest, he's going to say, What was that? Oh my fucking god, what was that? My god, there's a big foot in front of your face, and that's the best response. Hell, dude, I'd be out of there like pronto in like less than a microsecond. And look at the, this is the beginning of the video. I will not show the channel because I do not want to get sued by whoever the hell it is, but. I mean, the freaking first five seconds is about Facebook. The last five seconds is about Facebook. That proves this documentation or video montage of clips and pictures and evidence. And above all, basically, he proves the theory at the very end of it. This is a this is a fucking advertisement spoof. This is a guy who needs fucking money and media attention. This isn't even fucking true. If your if your video is going to start. We're, we're a couple seconds, I'm going to show it. If, if your video needs to start with a Facebook fucking page for advertisement and media, and it ends with it, then the video's purpose from beginning to start is to cue you in about it and get you hooked on Facebook to get you to uh, support him. Why the hell would you fucking need a Facebook to prove Bigfoot existed? I mean, this is fucking stupid. I mean, I no doubt I believe it exists, but I think too many people come on YouTube need to make a little extra money and will post anything just to get you people hooked on it. So here's the video. Click on Bigfoot's upper lip to see the Fove Facebook Find Bigfoot stream. Facebook Find Bigfoot. Pennsylvania White Bigfoot in a Backyard. It's posted by Bobby Wade. Um... And 2 3 of 2010. It is similar to the Auburn Sasquatch video from Seattle we posted earlier this year. We've been working on this authentication for a long time. There's a very heavy breathing as it gets close, and it's at night. Um, it confirms on high shoulders, a long upper lip, high uh, eyes, dark triangle shaped eyes, brow ridge, consistent color um, all over, and a shine on the hair. Um, this could be an old Sasquatch or one with just albinism. <laughs> Albinism. This guy must think he's an anthropologist or whoever the fuck he thinks he is. I mean, wow. You could construct a costume that could have all those. They do a pretty good job nowadays with technology and making costumes. I'm pretty sure someone could do all those things you just detailedly listed to us. I mean, high eyebrows, lifted lips, whatever the hell. You can make that with a costume. It's not fucking hard. I mean... This is at nighttime, remember, so some of that shit's gonna be kinda hard to see. Hence the reason why the fuck you would go out in the middle of the night and catch a foot, Bigfoot in front of your ass, in front of your face, excuse me, on film. So let's just continue this retarded film. Uh, basically, here's what was posted near Carbondale, uh, Illinois, uh, which is relatively rural. It's uh, northwest of Scranton, and if you look here, there's a number of sightings on Mangini's maps. We're gonna start here, and it's about 30 some seconds into it. There's two actual. Um, one second clips of this, uh, one from about 40 feet and another one closer. So we'll stop talking about now. Now the first view is at about 22 seconds and is about 1.4 seconds long. And it's right there, it's by the tree. And at 10% um, speed and full zoom, you'll kind of see it. It goes up there and you can kind of see, it's pretty far away, but you can kind of see it's right there behind the tree. And then you see it coming back down, you see the dark eyes, and uh, then there's the one second that's really good. Okay, there it is, boom, it runs away. It's gotten pretty close. And look at the mouth grimace, and the head turns, you see a brow ridge, and then it, it runs, and it goes fast. So let's look at the brow ridge. Um, yeah, as it goes here, you see the mouth um, is right, or the shoulders are at about above mouth level. As it turns, you see the brow ridge there, um, you see the coned head. 
Okay, that you could copy with a costume. It is possible. Not saying that it isn't possible, but let's look into the what ifs. There, it could be a freaking costume. I think it could be. Which, by the way, if Bigfoots are such good hunters like this buffoon thinks they are and claims they are, why the hell would it? Because Bigfoot are supposed to have good hearing, supposedly, or and they can actually communicate with each other very well, supposedly with very good, with very good ow, weird noises like that, you know. But why the hell would this Bigfoot just sit there and have a guy walk up? I mean, he's within, what, 20 feet? Not even. I mean, it's freaking night. It's quiet. You're in the middle of the forest. Hey, Bigfoot, you hear something coming. Wouldn't you be, like, hiding because you're a hunter and that's what you do? So that's also something that makes no sense either. Aside from heavy breathing, that's just another giveaway. What the hell? I mean, something just doesn't really fit with the scenario here. So let's just let's just continue this bunch of shit. And uh, you see the nape of the neck is at the nose level, which is about right, um, and then it runs. Now, the face contorts, this is not a mask, but look, at it has a hooded nose. This is one of the best things. And in fact, the nose actually moves. It goes, look. You hear that? The nose actually moves. Oh, my God, look at that face. Really, now, they, they're saying that's true. The nose doesn't move. Or, he says, the, excuse me, he says the nose does move. Okay, well... And then they could put it, there's a way to make that work in the costume. It's possible. Anything is fakeable on the internet nowadays. It's true. Every single thing is fakeable. It's not impossible. I mean, this guy claims that that he like claims that he knows everything about it already. Upon even not even fucking knowing it. I mean, yeah. It, let's just not even go there. Let's just keep watching it. Get it. it the nose is it grimaces. The nose moves. That's that's not a mask, guys. It's incredible. So here, watch the Seattle eye shine. The very eye shine at the beginning as it, as it looks up, and then a person is kind of doing this, and moves forward and ha has it, and, and maybe this is the second one gets up, and then you can see the arm, shoulder as it kind of pulls itself out. That's um, the Auburn uh, one. Let's look at the eye shape. Okay, Chris Noel had, um, has a video it's, uh, during the woodpile um, thermal, and you can see the, the, the two triangle shaped eyes. And then if you look at it here, you'll see it's pretty similar. And those eyes are big. That, that, that's probably about a one foot wide. If you look at uh, Fasano, you'll see kind of the same thing. And, and to mark that off with a comment, anytime you make a costume, or say like a Bigfoot Sasquatch costume, they probably are going to have the exact same diameter in, in eyes, you know, in the eye area. They probably will because they're all costumes. Probably. I mean, that's what I say, but let's just continue where the hell we picked that off. Uh, that would be, I believe, let's just go back to where it starts with the thermal image. Um, thermal, and you can see that the, the two triangle shaped eyes. And then if you look at it here, you'll see it's pretty similar. And those eyes are big. That, that, that's probably about a one foot wide. If you look at uh, Fasano, you'll see kind of the same thing. <laughs> one foot wide. <laughs> wow. Okay. And you see the, the heavy brow ridge. You can see William Evans' baby in the craw of the tree. You'll, you'll see how this little bit twice. You can see the, the, the dark eyes there, and you can see the, the, the portion. Now, John Bennett oh, my God! Long, oh, that's um, John Bennett. Uh, upper lip of the, of the great apes. And here you can see a baby there. And you can see this is an artistic rendering of Patty's upper lip. You don't really actually see it in the real video, but you can see approximately the, you know, where the chin is and where it would be. If you look at the baby in the crowd of tree, you'll see there's a long upper lip. You can see where the eyes are, and you can see the hooded nose there. Um, it's pretty important. Well, you can see the same thing. There's a long upper lip. That's that's longer than a human's upper lip. Okay? And it's... Oh, my God! Oh, I thought that was big fun. Okay, let's go. Shit, that scared the shit out of me. Shit, it's, shit it's like the face is more compact. If you look at some of the uh, many hundreds of sketches, um, you'll see that they kind of show a long upper lip. You see the type of nose, and you see it, it's pretty consistent there again. If you look at a gorilla, here's, an, um, here's Snowflake, the albino gorilla. You see that, that same um, upper uh, lip, but doesn't have the same hooded nose. It's different than um, uh, a Sasquatch. A Sasquatch can swim, that's why it has that. So, conclusions uh, Sasquatch is a great ape. And it's likely the one that we came from. There's really no question about it. Gorillas and chimpanzees are very distant relatives. The Sasquatch is just as successful as we are. They're
He's just as successful as we are. Yeah, he probably lives in a three hundred and fifty thousand dollar house too. Oh, this guy cracks me up. The Sasquatch is as successful as we are. This guy must live with him. He must actually he's probably recording this video for him inside like a little shack in the woods with Bigfoot right now. Cause this guy sure the hell knows a lot about Bigfoot considering he's only on YouTube. Why is he on TV? Let's continue. Our success is measured differently than ours. Ours is success is measured by the forts we build and in our population and the things we grow. A Sasquatch success is measured by how well it can hide and hunt in the forest. Okay, well, it didn't hide very good in that picture because it obviously was just standing there staring him inside the fucking eyes. So, you know, it was just sta standing there in front of the camera. So apparently it didn't hide very well. <laughs> Our human genius came from somewhere. Some great ape gave it to us. The hooded nose, the flattened face, bipedalism. This is a version of a gorilla, a great ape. It's called. It was probably a fucking alien that gave us that genius. That's a what if too. What if aliens and Bigfoot are actually making a secret deal to steal oil drums from Russia? I don't know. Let's continue. Uh. All the Sasquatch, and this is a white one. And this is a white one. Facebook, find Bigfoot. Facebook, Facebook. Facebook, find Bigfoot. Oh, look, FB, FB. Oh, boy. Fucking baloney, fucking baloney. That's all I'll say to that. Fucking baloney. My dude, my god, dude, you should be a fucking documentarist or something. I mean, I don't know. I can't really say. Yeah, that that's all I'm going to say. That's a bunch of shit to get fucking attention for Facebook. If I had a fucking video that looked like proof, I wouldn't go on Facebook. People could exploit it on there and steal it and then fuck it and make it look like you stole it. You know, anything can happen on Facebook. They can render it and screw with it on there. I would take it to a, a what would you call it, authenticator or a video analysis person and let them check it out and see. And still, even then, they might not know. It depends on how the hell they feel about it. So, I mean, if you gotta have attention for this, you need attention like this, then you're pretty desperate for fucking hard up attention and media attention and views and shit. It's just, this is a freaking scam. It's not real. I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, it's not fucking real. I don't care if he listed all that proof. Oh, it's got big eyes. Blah, 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 blah. Who cares? A costume can do the same thing. So that, that guy should have never just posted that. That was stupid. I mean, it's okay to post your opinions. This is America. And it's okay to say that that could be true and it could not be true. But please, dude, whoever made this video, or did it, sponsored it, whatever. Please don't say that it's real. You probably have not had a real video analysis done on it. I mean, that right there would be like most of your proof, supporting proof right there would get people to believe it. If a video analysis gets done on it and people agree with it, then maybe it's true. You know, I mean, don't use Facebook for a sideline of attention because that's stupid. It's dumb. It's very absurd to say something's true when it's really not. I mean, don't, I mean, please keep in mind, if you're going to make a video and you're trying to prove something, please keep in mind there's always going to be two sides. There's a what if and there's a what not. The what not would be what not if I didn't care, but <laughs> stupid, really. I mean, I do care. I made a video about it, but it's you gotta kind of comprehend something. You just can't say all out it's true. You have to hold back some of your freaking belief. You gotta say that it is possible it isn't true. And then again, it could be true. I don't know. But, like I said, this is my opinion. I don't think it's true. And I really... I can't believe you got 517 likes to 100 dislikes. There should be like 500 dislikes to 100 likes. And he, if he has to use Facebook just to get that attention, then my God. It's desperation. About, above, like, beyond the highest belief. I mean... Yeah, so, see you around YouTube. Make sure your videos are at least done correctly, and, yeah. Oh, and one other thing, too, before I leave and say goodbye to you, my friends. I actually took a vacation to California about four or five years ago. I actually, too, have proof. I do have proof that Bigfoot exists. I have a picture of me standing next to him. But, alas, before he was going to rip my head off, the freaking dang fairies and guard gnomes marched on over and turned him into a piece of wood statue. So, damn it. Thanks a lot, gnomes. You took my proof away. Well, here's the picture.